Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, before we start this video, please download this video and spread them all over. Let us expose the liars. Now, this man he made a book, it's called The Lies About Muhammad. And actually, I like the name of his book because absolutely his book is about lies about Muhammad, which means he is the one is making lies. And I'm going to prove it to you one by one. So this will be like a series of videos exposing this liar by proofs and evidence from their websites in the front of your face, in the front of your screen, and you will read it. thing that was so uh, uh, shocking to me is that the, the, the talk show host was very educated, a uh, very progressive, very enlightened person, and he allowed me to speak my mind, and I thank him for that. He had to ask me the first question that he thought that on uh, everyone's mind, including his, and he needed to hear the answer from, here's the question. If you're a Muslim and you meet a Christian or a Jew, is it mandated really by Islam that you have to convert him and if they don't convert, you have to go ahead and kill him? Yeah. And it's a sincere question. He really wanted to know that. That's the level of Islamophobia and hate. This is Islamophobia. And by the way, when Muslims speak about phobia, it's really funny. We have the phobia or you, you idiot. You Muslims, you have a duty to fight everybody in the world. You cannot sleep because of us. You can't even pray your prayer five times you pray a day. In, in, in chapter al-Fatiha, verse number 1, chapter number 1, verse number 7, not like those who Allah, he cursed them, or the one who lost. Like who? The Christians is the one who is lost, and the one who is cursed is the Jews. So, when he speak about phobia, if you don't have the phobia, why you have to curse us five times a day? Why your prophet consider that, there's a hadith that says, let me show you the phobia of Muhammad. In the fifth Bukhari, Book number 55, the Book of Prophets, it says, Hadith number 611, narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, we, uh, where it's not of Bani Israel, which means the children of Israel, meat would not decay. Ima imagine, according to Muhammad, even the beef is damaged because of the Jew. This is why we have uh, damaged food. So, who is the one have a phobia, you idiot? Who claim the Jews for everything, you idiot? You see how they lie? Uh, by the way, I'm not calling names because those who try to fool us, they are idiots. They, they think they are fooled. We are not. Now, let us go to the topic. He said that the question they ask him, isn't it your duty as a Muslim when you see someone is not a Muslim to kill him or to force him to Islam if he refuse? The answer, no. This is phobia. Let us show you the liar. The book of the Fifth Bukhari, book number 8, hadith number 387. Book number 52, hadith number 169. We can show you many hadith. Book number 84, hadith number 59. Book number 92, hadith number 388. Which means this is a very, very, very strong hadith. They cannot say it's weak. It's very fat hadith, the same as Mr. Mustafa. Now let us see what Muhammad he said. Allah Apostle said, I have been ordered to fight the people. The people, which means all mankind. Till they say, till they say what? None has the right to be worshipped by uh, but Allah. So your prophet been ordered for what? To fight all people until what? Until they say that Allah is the only God. So we refuse your God Allah. You have an order to fight us. You know the the the, the liars they say that we Muslims we follow the prophet and whatever the prophet say we follow. Now he is denying that this is a duty of a Muslim. So are you denying what your prophet said and what he taught you? So. He have a duty to fight all people until they convert to Islam. And not only that, after you convert, you have to pray. And if they say so, not yet, just wait. Even if you convert, you are not done yet in Islam. When they have the upper hand, if the uh, Islamic army like in Saudi Arabia now, if you don't go to the, uh, the mosque, you don't pray, it's mean you are out of Islam and they will kill you. You cannot say, I don't want to pray. It's not up to you. Not up to you. you don't have a choice. So, and if they say so, Pray like our prayers, face our qibla, and slaughter what we slaughter, then, then their blood. Ah, then. So before that time, all of this is not going to happen. Their blood will not be secured. Secured from who? From the killer Muhammad. So you have to do the following. First, you have to say that Allah is, is, a, is God, and this is about fighting the Christians 
until they convert or they have to pay the jizya. Our, our, the duty of a Muslim to kick us away, far away from Mecca. We can't get close to Mecca because we are dirty. Only the pure person in religion, you see, in Islam, pure is about being pure in religion. So anyone is not pure in Islam, which means he's not a Muslim, have to be expelled. So uh, Abdul, he says, if I see a Muslim, a uh, non-Muslim in the street, no way, I'm not going to uh, harm him. So if I, if he see me in Mecca, what he will do to me? He have to kill me. My blood is free. But he said he will not do that, and he don't do. They don't do that. You know, Muslims they are very nice people. Like, what are you talking about? You know, this is not a true. It's a phobia. So, is it us who think, you know, like, is it us who think Muslims are dirty? Or you? You think everybody is not a Muslim is dirty. This means you are the one who have a phobia. You are the one who have a phobia that everyone around you, just because you're not a Muslim, you are racist. Imagine you, we make a sign. Imagine, you know, we have a sign that says, uh, 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 you know, uh, Muslims cannot enter our city because they are dirty. What the Muslim will say? Muslims, they have the same signs over their highway. So who is the one have the phobia? The one who make roads for Muslims and roads for Christians and Jews and actually Jews, they will kill them right away. Who is the one have the phobia? You know, they speak about South Africa before that the white man was dividing between the white and the black. There is no racism in this earth the same as Islam. Islam is racism. The racism of Islam is based, based on religion. Look with me, I'm not making things up. It's in the front of you. This road for non-Muslims. This one for Mecca. If you enter this road, you are dead. You are dead, no kidding. Is that a phobia or what? This is sickness. There's a street for the Christians and, and the Hindus and Buddhas and there's a street for the clean ones which are the Muslims and they are talking about phobia. Now let us read the Quran. Let us see what the Quran is saying. Forget about, about the dirty. The Muslims have a duty to fight us, fight the people of the book, chapter 9, verse number 29. Until feel themselves subdued, you see. It's a duty for a Muslim to, to, to make you subdued. And this is the Quran in front of your eyes. The order to fight the people of the scriptures until they give jizya. Which means you give jizya or you, you know, just wait, just wait, you know. He just said, you know, they think that we are going to attack people to, to make them convert. The verse in the front of you, order to fight until. So when they will stop killing you, when they occupy your land, and you became a third hand citizen or maybe tenth hand citizen, and you pay the jizya as a little, little puppy, they beat you and they insult you and they humiliated you, and then you are you you are okay. You can you can live. It's okay. You can live. We will let you live. You see, he said, "We know we don't do that. This is phobia. It's not true." Let us show you more. What the Quran is saying? Fight who exactly? Fight those from the people of the book who don't believe in Allah and His Messenger. You see, in here it doesn't say fight those who fight you. If it's about that. The Muslim, they will go and quote different verse for you, and the Quran says, the Quran says, don't fight those who don't fight you, or don't, you know, don't, don't, don't be uh, aggressive. Th those abrogated verses, this verse alone, abrogated more than 200 verses in the Quran by itself. Just one verse. One verse in the Quran. So they will quote for you verses, Muhammad, when he was weak, he, wa he you know, he have to act, he have to play a puppy. When he was weak, weak, he did not show his teeth. When he have his sword, he have an army, and they are weak. Then he said to them in the Quran, don't cry for peace as long as you have the uppermost. And here you will see the duty for the Muslim to fight the people of the scriptures because they don't believe in Allah or his messengers and they don't acknowledge them as prophet and as religion. From who? From people of scriptures. And they, they pay jizya. Muslim, they will say to you, pay jizya is a tax. Well, first you are attacking their land. This is number one. Second, you are taking their money. Number two, you have no. Why, why you want to? You know, tax for what? Who are you? You know, I pay tax for my government. Muslims are occupation. Imagine, imagine the, the American when they went to Iraq, they forced the Iraqi to 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 pay American tax, <laughs> and what they execute will protect you. You see, you see how filthy this religion is. You see how filthy low class this religion is, and they speak about this, and they would try to say to you, this is tax. It's tax, brother. Let me show you how what kind of tax this one is going to be. The tax in here is going to be that you have to be humiliated and you have to be beaten like a puppy, like a dog. 
Look, pay and jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. You see, it's what? It's not just a sign. It's not about pay. They say to you, pay tax, right? You see the lie? I pay tax, but the government don't insult me. They will say to you, if you don't pay it, you go to jail. But this is not a sign of a kufr. You know, this is everybody pay. Everyone. The Muslim, they will say to you, we pay zakat. Zakat is a different story. You know, zakat is, is very little amount of your money, and you are not even, you are not even, huh? can mention it closer to this, because as you see, this is a sign of disgrace. It's about humiliating you, not about just paying the money. And you will see in here, this is not my translation, by the way, and this is not my words, this is not my explanation. This is Ibn Kathir. Until they pay the jizya, if they don't choose to embrace Islam. So this is what, this is a penalty. It's coming from the word jaza. You, you, you know, we, if we continue, it says in here, and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated. Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of Dhamma, which means the Christians and the Jews. You see, you see how filthy it is? And they will say to you, this is tax. So a Muslim duty is when you see, you see you in the street to humiliate you, and make you feel subdued like a puppy come sit down sit down stand up sit down. and the, and we are the one having a phobia filthy liars and look what their prophet the filthy muhammad what he said don't initiate the salam to the jews and the christians so this abdul the one we showed you his video if he is a real muslim and for sure he is but if he have the upper hand he will not say even to you salam because a Muslim is not allowed. He will not even shake hands with you. He will not honor you. He will not treat you equally to a Muslim. And this filthy liar, he is saying, no, in Islam we don't have that, you know. This is, a, this is a phobia. Let me read for you. And actually, you read for me. Why I want to read for you? Here we go. Don't initiate the salam to the Jews and the Christians. And if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the, to the narrowest alley. So if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, spit in his face, force him to change his way. Humiliate him. Is that the, is that the, you see what he's saying to us? This is not a true. Absolutely. You know, we are peaceful. A guy walking in the street, they can't say it's a war no more. This is a guy in his country. We occupy his country and when we see him in the street, we spit in his face and we force him to walk in the sewage line. You see this in here, the narrowest alley. In old days, they used to have an open dirty water in the side of the, of the road. So, if you are a Christian and a Muslim walking by side, by in, 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 in the same way, or you face him coming in a different direction, he will force you to walk in the sewage. You cannot walk with a Muslim in the same street. And look in here. This is why the leader of the faithful, look how great this leader is. Omar ibn Khattab, may bless him, demand his well-known the conditions to be met by the Christians and the conditions, etc. Humiliation, degradation, and disgrace. This is this is the condition of a Christians who live under Islam. So Muslims today they show you a face which is not a true of Islam, and this is why we say every Muslim is a liar until he proves the opposite. You see, in the court of law, every every one is is a, is a is innocent until it's proven to be the opposite. But in Islam, when it's come to Muslims, every Muslim is a liar because Muslims are allowed to lie when they speak in English to you or when they are weak. As you see in here, in chapter 3, verse number 28, it says clearly that you cannot take a Christians and Jews as a friends, but you can speak to them friendly, protecting yourself from them while your heart dislikes this. So a Muslim is allowed to lie and he speak a friendly as long as he live in not in his country not he is not the strong one he is the weak one right now he speak friendly he might give you a hug even he might help you just to confuse you and make you believe that he is a friend but as long he don't mean it for real and his heart dislike this it's okay in Islam otherwise if a Muslim he take a Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors he is out of Islam and he is not accepted to be a Muslim and he will lose his property he will lose his blood he will lose his honor because Muslims cannot do that and if you do that you are a friend to them you are one of them therefore Muslims will kill you so this is a true Islam and please spread this video everywhere and let us expose the liars thank you Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean